talk about walkthrough habitats or walkthrough exhibits as they're called. With the update 1.11 we are greeted by a brand new exhibit type. This one in front of you is not the actual one but this one is actually the exact size that we will be seeing. Now there are a couple of things we need to talk about today. So first of all you can see this is the, by the way this is the first time uh, I see that animation happening. Maybe this is actually because of this thing. Anyways, uh, let's not get uh, dragged away. We want to talk about this footprint of a habitat. Now, as you can see, or actually exhibit I should say, as you can see it is rather large. Just to put a bit of uh, context in here, um, I put a couple of animals in here so you can see some birds we have in the game are actually in this wonderful area now. So we've got the Indian peafowl in here with the greater flamingo and the red crowned crane. All of those are the, you know, some of the birds that we have in the game and you can see a couple of things happening in here. Now in terms of size you can definitely tell and that it is somewhat um, big but then again it's not. Now the, the biggest issue um, I have with this at the moment is that I have no idea what is happening inside. So labeling it as an exhibit might actually you know bring us the certain kind of small exhibit uh, to our minds which exactly has this footprint over here and is like a million times smaller as you can tell um, so that thing right next to it is actually already showing um, how much of a difference the size is now do we only see idle animations? I don't believe so and there is a good reason for why I don't think so because in the uh, image that we got there is actually one of the bats flying around. Now don't get me wrong, bats are a lot smaller than that. Now there are a couple of things we have to discuss. Number one being will they be able to use the entire space no matter what we put in so is there a collision of pieces or not and do we actually have the chance to you know see what's going on or not because th th the problem is um if we have an exhibit like that and it doesn't have a specific traversable area it's going to be quite hard for us to find out but before we go on in this park over here let's quickly put the um, screenshot back on top okay shall we now in this screenshot you can clearly tell that there are a couple of things um, we, we have to talk about. So first of all you can see to the left hand side there is um, uh, the, the bed hanging down from the ceiling and it almost looks like as if the ceiling isn't as high. The reason why I'm saying that is because you can see the gate on the right hand side and that gate is potentially um, the size of a person uh, walking through. Now. One thing that comes to my mind is also that the um, wall seems to be rather thin, so it's, it doesn't really seem like a wall piece we have in the game. Even the plaster walls and stuff, they are a lot bigger and thicker than this one over here. So I'm hoping that this is not, um, you know, a prefab that we can't change, but actually make a null fence out of it as well. But another thing that you can tell in this image is that this bed in the middle, rather to the right hand side, is flying around actually. So I'm assuming um, this might actually be a free-flying behavior. The reason why I think so is because they are hanging to the top and I think it is down from an from a from a piece that we all know and that is basically one of the four rock pieces or maybe it's one of these new uh, stalactite stalactite pieces but the the good thing we can spot in here is that one of the uh, other bats we see actually four in this picture the other one is sitting at the wall or on the wall on the right hand side right next to this lantern kind of thingy or actually we see five because there's another one flying right over to the gate i'm not sure if it's outside or inside i can't really tell i mean potentially it's inside obviously but if they could escape that would be even cooler however um, there are good hints in here why it potentially is a free-flying mechanic rather than an exhibit mechanic and at this point i'll be i'll be honest with you guys i really do hope it is a free-flying mechanic and not a kind of point to point uh, mechanic now what do i mean with that let's jump back into planet zoo to see what i mean by that all right, so point to point is kind of something that we saw in Prehistoric Kingdom, and I put a couple of uh, a couple of these wonderful trees in here. Now, um, just to show you, I'm just going to go to the construction menu, go down to the art shapes, and I'm going to show this to you by using some of the small bulbs. So, what kind of happens sometimes in games is like that you have certain you know points from which to which they can fly. So I'm just going to make them 
somewhat pinkish over here. There you go. And we could potentially see a point being up here, another being on that lock over there. Then there's another one here. And then there's one here. And another one is just kind of here, you know. And then on that tree, they could potentially sit on that one, sit here, sit there, and then there. And then you also have some on uh, the side so being one here another one here kind of ish you know and then maybe you got some in the front there you go and so the game would recognize these as kind of connection points just almost like as with climbing and then the animals were only would only be able to you know fly from a to b and so on and so forth um which you know is technically very close to free flying but then again it's not and you would always need to use these type of pieces and you always have the same kind of flying and these pieces would already be in um now what would be very cool is if those pieces itself would have these points and then it is all very dynamic because then any animals you know uh, as soon as i'm gonna go in here and i'm just going to you know select these light bulbs with it and then i would move this thing I would change the entire dynamic of the flying, you know? This is something, I guess, uh, which would make a lot of sense, to be honest. Um, and I really would love to see it that way. And this this way, it's kind of is an exhibit. Now, I would not actually be too keen on, you know, looking too much at the labeling. Because exhibit is, as a wording is kind of referring i guess to the limited size rather than to the animation in there um i mean a habitat is an exhibit anyways isn't it so it's you know it's it's kind of small exhibit walkthrough exhibit walkthrough habitat yeah it's kind of of course there is something in it they they do have a reason to name it the way they did it but at the end of the day um i really hope we get this uh all together as like a bit more free form than not but if it is like a fully predefined path that these animals fly from A to B and we only get a couple pieces that we are able to put in. Mm, that would be a real downer, um, really. It, it would be a real downer because I think this would be something, um, yeah, no different than a bigger exhibit, isn't it, right? So um, they would be idling in some positions and then just fly from A to B would be kind of a bit of a downer uh, and i really hope it's it's the the first uh, kind of way we talked about however just assuming it is the first way we talked about i think this is the perfect integration of smaller birds in the future and i'm not talking about bigger birds but totally like parrots and uh, kind of little canary birds and you know these kind of smaller birds especially like tropical birds would mega fit in here the only thing i wish is is that we get this as like a null you know a null variant what do i mean by the null variant for those of you who are new is basically if we take the whole thing and do this and then obviously uh this roof part would also be be gone you know that the exhibit kind of looks like this okay so that would be absolutely phenomenal because that's actually exactly how it is in prehistoric kingdom and that would make a lot of sense but now obviously we are starting with this thing what is going to happen in the future? I don't know, but we don't need to wait for any longer because it's just in about one and a half weeks time. We will know how it actually works out. Now, put your thoughts about this in the comments now because this is it. There's not really much more to talk about. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little overview of the walkthrough exhibit to put it a bit in perspective how big it is and uh, what could be happening with it and also, you know, these kind of things. So please let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Uh, make sure to, you know, keep in mind that this is just like a little bit of guessing at this point but um, I guess we have some good indications why hopefully my first variant is the one to go with and now it's up to you click down and if you haven't seen anything about the you know announcements make sure to click the video on the top right this is going to be for you and so I hope you guys keep on watching see you in the next one have a good day and goodbye